Good freaking morning. Yeah. Good freaking morning. I just had my cup of coffee. I'm happy. I'm back in St. George. It took me 12 hours to get home yesterday from Alabama, but it was all worth it because hopefully you guys saw that video. Hopefully Muscle and Fitness is happy. The movie Bigger is happy. I'm happy. It was a good shoot. Back home and I'm ready to start a regimen. Ready to start eating back on a schedule, like hitting macros. That usually starts off with my morning breakfast. So cheers, let's make some breakfast. I like big cups and I cannot lie. Corny got this for me. <laughs> I do, I love big cups. I cannot lie, I cannot lie. Guys, make sure you like this video and subscribe. I don't tell people that enough. I'm gonna start because I wanna hit a million. It's a goal of mine. And when I have goals, I achieve those things. I do, I do, I visualize. When you have a goal, I almost feel like it gives me chills to talk about my goals because I honestly feel like you can will them to happen. That being said, I'm about to will my breakfast to happen right now because I'm starving. All right, first and most important is the protein. I am a big fan of eggs, but not just any eggs. I can't scramble them. You know, I, I mean, I just don't like them just scrambled. So I like to take real, farm eggs. I, I make two whole eggs and I cook them over medium. Then crack four egg whites. I then like to throw a little bit of chicken, which I think our chicken's frozen right now. And then for me, right now my macros are gonna be about 350 grams carbs, 220 to 240 grams protein, and about 85 to 90 grams fat. And that's just kind of baseline. I might gain a little bit of weight on that, but I'm thinking I'll probably stay the same. So the biggest thing is whenever you guys are starting a diet program or a macro program, you wanna find what your caloric base is. And that just requires tinkering with your diet to make sure that you're eating at a, you know, you're not losing or gaining. Um, and then once you find that baseline, then you're able to adjust it one way or another, depending on what your goals are. Let's start cracking. Let's get cracking. <laughs> There is a art when it comes to getting just the egg white in the pan. And it's something that sometimes it doesn't work. <laughs> when you guys crack an egg though, you don't want to crack it in the side of a pan like that. That's not what we want to do. We actually want to go flat on the counter like that because it gives us that nice even crack rather than pushing the shell into the egg. You can see that crack is all the way across and that makes it a lot easier for splitting open. And then it's just back and forth. That was a perfect one. Got all of the egg white in there without any of the yolks. And you guys can see how rich in color these yolks are. That's the biggest thing you wanna look for. I noticed that when I was in other countries, these egg yolks were so much better, so much deeper orange than the ones we had here in the States that were yellow. The deeper the color of the egg yolk, the healthier the egg. Now it's time to actually make my favorite part of this breakfast. Protein's the most important part, I'd say, but my favorite part is the avocado toast. So half to get my to get all the fats I need. Breakfast is typically one of my higher fat meals. I go a quarter of an avocado, right about 20 grams, I'd say. I'm just gonna smash that up. That's where my egg is gonna go. And then on the other one, chocolate almond butter. Yeah. This stuff's amazing. So I'm gonna use a half tablespoon, so 16 grams of fat for a full tablespoon. So I'm gonna get eight grams of fat from this, four carbs, and three protein. Bada boom, 16 grams right there. That is some good, good almond butter. Cut up a little bit of a banana, about, mm, I'd say a quarter of a banana here. I'm using the scale for everything, so it just makes it super easy. If you're gonna count macros, and honestly, Depending on how serious you are with your diet, that's how serious you need to be counting macros. If you've got a show coming up, by all means, be serious. If it's just to like look good on a holiday, I would say you can you know eyeball everything. Two whole eggs and then two egg whites, but I'm gonna get a shake after this, and then I'm also going to eat here. That is breakfast number one. Like I said, I'm gonna add a shake to this. I'm gonna get a higher carb meal um, right before my workouts and my Pre-workout meal is gonna have at least 80 to 100 grams of carbs in there. This meal here probably has right around 40 grams of carbs. Speed, chest and back day. We're also using this as more of a deload week, so we're not going super heavy. Still 
really hitting central nervous system because everything's quick twitch, fast fire. So first, tricep, yeah, tricep starting out. We're coming at you, hitting you with the tricep, drop catches on the bench press. That is an exercise not a lot of people do. And it's really gonna, catching it, we're not gonna let that, that weight drift. We'll show you here how we're doing that. Doing the same thing with a plate, drop catching it, and then also with a row. I've learned from experience that people in the bodybuilding world, everything's slow, eccentric. We're using this type of training, quick twitch, fast, explosive movements, powerful movements. Now this will translate to being stronger, and that's why we're doing it. It's gonna feel really weird at first. Stick with it, and it's something that we don't go super heavy on. You're gonna notice today. You know, I can put up 315, 12 to 15 times. We're gonna be using lightweight here, just quick movements. Let's get after it. So we're going pretty much cut your max by about 40% and that's what your working weight is here. Or lighter. Or lighter. I like to push the boundaries on this one, but lots of people like to go lighter. That's not fun. <laughs> It's not fun. Hey, don't try this at home though, please. Especially what Jake's gonna do, don't try it at home. pad on there so people can't say hey your butt's coming off that's more of a competition height bench our benches here are super low we're just making it more legit we got speed bench now whole goal on the speed bench is to try to do three reps in under three seconds this is not a slow and, and eccentric control day this is quick fast fire explosive that's, that's nice. Not many bodybuilding programs are gonna have you training like this. This is more of like a strength conditioning, get you strong, get you explosive. Yeah, so I wanna talk about. of a volume day just because you could do that you know 15 to 20 times you have to know your purpose speed bench fast explosive if you're not hitting it under three seconds go lighter next up pin light row this is pretty much just the antithesis of what we just did on bench press all that quick pushing away here pin light row comes back to the ground you have no kind of eccentric hold on the bar you just let it drop said not a lot of volume today we're gonna to be back in here later tonight doing arms but right now we're gonna go check out 
some French Bulldogs. I had this amazing little English Bulldog that I thought I had. It slipped through my fingers, someone else bought it. But people reached out to me wanting to show me their French Bulldogs. So we're gonna go check out some French Bulldogs and then come back. Hit some pipes later today. Overall, it's just a great day. Puppies and lifting. We're about to head inside and play with some puppies. No matter how bad or good your day is, it's gonna get better playing with puppies. And French Bulldog puppies have been going back and forth. I need your help in the comment section below. We're only talking French and English Bulldogs. Now I know there's tons of great dogs out there, rescue dogs, and I know I'm at a, at a breeder's house here. They're reputable. We're gonna go in there and we're just gonna, I don't know, Courtney's out of town. I might just end up taking one home, who knows? Actually, I think they're only seven weeks, so they can't come home yet. Hi. <laughs> You're okay. Relax, girl. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. Hey, baby. How'd that work? Okay, so these are blue pipes. Okay. So it's silvery blue color. Tiny red. She's so But she's cute. so cute. But she, her color's gonna Oh, oh I just love how cute you are. Oh yeah, she's so little. Yeah, she's so tiny. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So I couldn't decide, so I'm taking all of them home. <laughs> Honestly, I, I think I could be one of those guys that just has like 10 dogs. I know Courtney, every time we see a dog, it's like, oh, let's take it home. But these, how tiny they are, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait just to snuggle you. Oh, I like you. You're looking at me. You're paying attention. Like this all weighs less than I would say eight pounds total, definitely. They're so cute. I'm gonna take them all. Oh my goodness, that was cuteness overload. Really though, like those Eng English Bulldogs I think are so cute with all their rolls, but French Bulldogs, their faces are so adorable. I'm gonna need you guys' help here. All I know is having a dog is gonna be a lot of work. I travel a lot, I know it's a big deal. That's why we're taking it super serious. We're looking into, into breeders, and we're looking into checking off all the things we need to check off in terms of asking the right questions with health stuff, and then making sure our house is kind of puppy proof. We're not taking this decision lightly. We want this dog to be like our child, our baby. So we're making sure we're doing our homework. Um, yeah, leave a comment below and let me know what you guys think. All right. See you guys tomorrow.